What up, it's your girl Raven, the blazing Eurasian, and I'm representing BrooklynBodega.com, Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival 2010, Brooklyn Bodega TV. I'm here with someone who I think might have the largest like collection of vinyl, possibly. Well, probably one of the largest, one you know. Largest. I, I know other people that can compete. <laughs> well, maybe know. that I know personally, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. And who are you? Tell everyone who you are. DJ Spinner. I am a Brooklyn native, DJ, producer, artist. You know, all that, all yeah, that, stuff. all, that, all stuff. that Brooklyn stuff. Yeah, that Brooklyn. Now, obviously, I, we, you know, thank you for linking up with us again. Sure. You know, we had the uh, salute the DJ, yeah. which was uh, one of the wonderful nights of the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival. And uh, why don't you tell me from your recollection how it felt to be there that night with so many fellow DJs there? Wow. Well, it was it was an honor to be in the presence of Rhett Maddock, uh, Rob Swift, who I never, I don't have any recollection of rocking with him ever. Mm-hmm. You know, and my man Wajid, you know, and Bobito, of course, you know, my fellow DJ companion, you know, on many occasions. These are all like, it felt like one big hip hop family, you know. You said that it was cool, like a big hip hop family, you know, like when you see your peers, like is there this common thing that you guys share, aside from the fact that obviously you're all, you know, you all spin, you're all DJs, but is there this code? Well, I, I, I want to say there's a code. I think there's an understanding, okay. you know, we're all coming from, like everybody who was a part of this event, who were part of this event, you know, we all come from a certain era, mm-hmm. you know. Even if we weren't around, we might we might have been kids mm-hmm. in the '70s, you right. know. But we understand where the music came from, where it started from. We understand the roots of it, you know. We understand that like hip hop is comprised of many different genres of music. Hip hop, there wouldn't be hip hop if there were no rock, if there were no jazz, if there were no Latin, mm-hmm. you know, and if there were no soul, if there were no funk. So we all embody that. We all keep there's a soul that runs through the soul that runs through the music, mm-hmm. and I think that in many ways is actually what differentiates like hip hop from yesteryear to hip hop today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a certain element that's lacking, but everybody that was there that night, we understand the yeah, roots of it. That. You know what I'm right. saying? Even if we play new joints, right. we know the old joints. We know right. the classic joints. Right. We know the standards. You know your history. Yeah, we know <laughs> we know Apache by Incredible Bongo Band. That's you know what right. I mean? Mm-hmm. We know Bob James Mardi Gras. We know mm-hmm. the Mohawks champs. Like we all we all got that. We have that understanding. Right. In my opinion, you know, as, as far as hip hop goes, you know, the uh, the original four elements you know what I'm saying? And of course, there are more and more elements in hip hop coming. You got film and all types of things going on. For me, the DJ is the backbone of hip hop. Started with the DJ. Started with the you DJ. Know, who Herc and Bam, like when they were doing their thing in the Boogie Down Bronx in the early 70s, 72, 73, right. with the project, the parties in the projects, mm-hmm. you know. It was the D, it was all about the DJ. DJs were considered the gods at that time. Right, you know, we right. were the ones bringing everybody together. Mm-hmm. You know, it started off like, you know, a bunch of different people partying under one roof. It didn't matter what what gang you were in. Mm-hmm. It was everybody united, and mm-hmm. that's what to me a DJ represents. You know, right. just making sure that everybody's taken care of under one roof. Right. Events like Salute the DJ are important to happen more often because people say, you know, the more Concerts go on, the more the DJs push to the back. Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying? over the years, DJs have been uh, getting more overshadowed, especially with mainstream uh, commercial world music industry kind of things that are going on. It's more about the artists, the right. person who's up front on the mic, whether they're singers or rappers. You think about like the, 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 the beginning of it all, like with Kool Herc and Bombada and what they did, you know, having hosting parties in, you know, in the park jams or in, in the in the uh, rec room of their of their projects or whatever, you know, they brought everybody together. It didn't matter, you know, what part of the hood you were from, it didn't, it didn't matter what gang you were part of, you know, everybody came together and they partied and it was peaceful and it was all one world united under one roof and that to me is what a DJ DJ should represent you know just right. making sure that everybody is taken care of in, in the venue right. you know rocking the crowd and making sure everybody is you know having a really good time yeah I was telling people I want an I love DJ t-shirt you know because everyone <laughs> loves the MC and you know but you know I think the the real hip-hop heads and it's also like you said it's the new generation they may not necessarily know 
So it's important, you know, to have events like this. And, you know, as far as the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, obviously, you know, we try to bring all that around. You know, this is the first year that we really try to successfully have, you know, five days of hip hop education. You know, and I'm, I have to say that, of course, we love the performances, but the Salute the DJ event was one of those things that I think really opened a lot of people's eyes up to realizing just how nasty. <laughs> well, I, I hope so. I hope, I hope it was effective. I hope it was effective to have an event like this where the emphasis is, you know, really on the DJ and different style of DJing. You know, it's. I think it's a good thing. Want to thank you again for coming out. You know, even though your your you know your hood is Brooklyn. You know, yes. these people are busy people. You know, DJs they got they got gigs. They got things to do. You know, they got families too. You know, they're not just with records all day long. I mean, most of the day maybe, but you know, on their minds. On their minds, at least. And maybe one day, you know, you can show me your plethora of records because I heard it's like a museum. I don't know. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm gonna get a ticket. Go in to see the museum of DJ Spinner's crib and look at his records. And once again, it's your girl Raven, the blazing Eurasian, repping Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival 2010. And DJ Spinner. We out. Peace.